All right, here we go. At number nine, uh, they've got a peacock problem in Miami. The birds are beautiful, to be sure, uh, but they're also a pain in the arse. Uh, neighbors say they're aggressive, especially after they lay their eggs. Mm. They roam freely. They're pecking at people and cars, chasing people around. And not only that, they're pooing all over the place. Uh, the know. birds are protected. <laughs> hey, they're protected from harm under a 20-year-old <laughs> law. But the Miami-Dade Commission agreed to loosen the restrictions so authorities are allowed to safely relocate them. The problem is sanctuaries don't want them either. So the goal is to find an alternative home. Uh, These things can be a yeah. lot of trouble. And they're not friendly. No. no. no you, you, do, you make an example out of one. Right. And then <laughs> right. the others might fall in line. Yeah, that's I'm not saying exactly that's what right. they should do. Right. I'm just thinking out loud. Right. But you could get them, put them all on a ferry or something, send yeah. them out to sea. That's so a good idea. On a, a lot cruise. of islands in the Keys. Yeah, just send them out on a boat. Yeah, to swim also. So yeah. you're doing everyone a good time there. Fair enough. Number eight, people are always looking for ways to strengthen their core. But when it comes to planking, just how long do you have to have to hold that plank? Well, trainers say it can vary from 10 seconds to one minute. Now, they suggest starting short, hold a plank for 10 seconds, relax 10 seconds, and do it again. Repeat this for three to six sets. And you're engaging your muscles the same way you would if you were holding in place for a full minute. Wow, so what you're saying is start small. Yes and gradually increase, wow. I think they're saying though, you don't even have to do the minute. You just do little sets of 10. Huh. There you go, just Robin. You can something I don't wanna, to about. this makes me tired looking at it. I don't like doing you're anything for a few You're halfway to laying down with that. <laughs> that's actually not too bad. <laughs> just do 15 seconds a day. There you go. Maybe that's how I start. Yeah. Uh, number seven, of course, a Build-A-Bear is the perfect gift for any occasion, oh, but yeah. what if consenting adults want to take it to the next level? This Valentine's Day, well, Build-A-Bear has launched an After Dark section Ooh, what? for unique <laughs> gift <laughs> ideas <laughs> that are sure to get you hugged. Ooh. It sounds very adult, and they even ask you to click and confirm that you're 18 in that section of their website. Wow. But thank the good Lord, it's all quite tame. These are just bears who like to drink wine or look devilish. And it's the same thing on the bear cave section of their site. Nothing risque, just bears that have been licensed for every single movie imaginable. Yeah. All right, number six, everyone who is everyone turned up for Rome Fashion Week. But if you missed the Musa show, did I pronounce that right, Paul? Yeah, you got it right. Uh, you really missed out. They sent models down the catwalk with tiny plastic baby dolls in outfits similar to the ones they're wearing. Moose is an Italian luxury brand. Their DNA collection is focused on sustainability. The theme of the show was genderless nomadic warriors. So I don't know where the baby dolls fit into all that, but. That's all right. Hmm. There we go. Fashion week. Big time. Number five, do you have snow tires? Well, if you don't, you should get them because they're awesome. Oh, okay. I have snow tires, and if you'd like, I'd be happy to give you a ride in my car with the snow tires. But I must warn you, this won't be a thrilling ride. No, no, actually, it will be actually kind of a mundane, maybe at the beginning. But when I take you around the turn, and you're thinking, boy, he's traveling at that speed with this snow. Is this guy nuts? Is this guy nuts? But by then, the second turn, you'll feel safe and secure. You just may stick your little thumb in your mouth like a baby and doze right off to sleep. The ride is that smooth when you're cruising on tires that are just made for the snow. So if you're looking for safe and security for your family, get yourself some snow tires. Nice. Hell of a read. That was wow. a great read. Yeah. yeah. Really good. All right. Just a random PR message for snow yeah, tires. Well, just okay. in case, yeah. All right. Number four. You want to impress your friends? Give your Super Bowl party an upgrade with champagne vending machines. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Put it right in your house. Isn't that nice? You serve it with the uh, chili cheese dip and the chicken wings. This one serves... Uh, Moet and Shan, did I pronounce yeah, that go right? Ahead, yeah, keep going, that sounds right. <laughs> I know I'm gonna pronounce that right, wrong. Moet and Shannon? <laughs> is that it? How would you pronounce that, Is that, that how it's pronounced? I think it's Moet, right? Is Moet. it Moet? I'll tell you, I'd St. Lawrence loves it. I don't know. <laughs> 
Anyway, neilmanmarcus.com. You can get that, that champagne vending machine for $38,000. Oh, wow, that is a steal. Or you could just get the champagne and put it in your refrigerator and you don't have to. Yeah, yeah but then you will be impressing your friends yep. and you'll have nothing for Instagram. You can't put a price on that. Nope. I knew I was going to. I always have trouble with the French pronunciation. Yeah, that's You're not French. That's the language. I do have a little bit of French in yep. me. Really? Like, like 1% in there ah, somewhere. Yeah. Keep practicing. It's not helping me. Ah, my pronunciation. Listen, it's an unusual language. Yeah. It's not English. Number three, there seems to be a patron saint for everything. Today we have Saint Monica, the patron saint of disappointing children. Oh boy. Ah. This is true. See, Monica was the mother of Saint Augustine, one of the great philosophers of Western history, but Augustine was a little wild and lustful in his younger days. And Monica stayed devoted to her son throughout the time that he strayed and was known for her good work. So only with his mother's help, was he able to achieve great things? Also, her husband was no walk in the park either. So St. Monica is sometimes also seen as a patron saint of difficult marriages. Wow. Oh, wow. That's a lot of baggage there. a lot there. of laundry. Yeah. 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 It's kind of getting thrown out there for huh. Monica. We're going to do a saint today. It's Saint Week <laughs> on the old number nine. Oh, I like that. Uh, number two, here's a little history about New York Central Park, which was built back in the late 18th 18, I can't remember, 1850s? Sure, yeah, yeah right around yeah. then, yeah. That camera's like a mile away. Yeah. Part of the idea for the park came about because of the blight of so many of the immigrant neighborhoods in Manhattan. The poor were isolated away from the rich, so when landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted was laying out the park, his hope was that the lower class people would just relax on the grassy areas and reflect on nature. Huh for the walkways or the promenades. Olmsted envisioned the wealthy people out for a stroll, and he hoped the unwashed masses would see them and want to imitate their good manners and dress. Oh, that nice? Uh, Olmsted never really envisioned physical activity in the park. The whole point of the park was to get out of the filthy neighborhoods mm -hmm. and into nature. Mm. It's, it's there's something about being in an era where no one expected you to do any physical activity, right. though. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of frowned like upon. You were, yeah. you were born yeah. 100 years I today. was. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know, it was dangerous. You're just yeah. trying to survive at that stage. Right? right? You're not yeah, thinking, well. oh, I'm going to go exercise, burn some of these extra calories. You're trying to find food. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they also died at 57. That's right? true. All right. Number Thanks. one, Polly. All right. Number one. It's hard for me to choose my favorite PFC star. But if I had to choose, it would probably be Marcus the Joker Perez. The PFC, of course, is the Pillow Fighting Championship. It bills itself as the world's most exciting new combat sport. These are actually experienced MMA fighters and boxers, but with strict rules, the CEO of the league says the fighters don't like to get hurt, and there's a lot of people who don't want to see the don't want to see the blood. They want a good, clean competition, and they don't want to see the violence. So you can check out the fight pfc.com. Well, how do you win? I mean, it seems like no one would fall down. I don't know how you. Win. They fight a lot of scoring. Wow. I'm sure they have judges. It's very yeah. technical yeah. point system. It's not always a knockout, you know, in most boxing matches. Although I would like to see a knockout. That would be interesting to see. Be a good thing to do to in sweeps instead of yeah. going head-to-head -head with news coverage. Maybe we just have pillow fights yeah. with the other stations. Mm -hmm. Throw a blanket in there also. You yeah. could yeah. really have some fun. We're interviewing somebody next week in connection with this. Huh. All right. That's the nine and nine. Oh. Hit me.